The Marvelous Mustard Seed by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso as read by Pastor Marie Maynard O'Connell of Park Hill Presbyterian Church. The Marvelous Mustard Seed illustrated by Margot McGank. A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It is an itty bitty seed. It isn't anything very special yet. There you see a little seed. Mustard seeds are so small, you have to look hard to see them. You have to look so hard to see them that you need to get really close. Use a magnifying glass. There is not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it or wear it. You can't take it for a walk or cuddle with it. You can't write or blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil. Then the rain falls and the sun shines and things begin to happen in the earth. But no matter how hard you look or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. No, you cannot. The seed is hidden down with the moles, down, down with the ants, down, down, down with the earthworms. Then it happens. In the place of the little bitty seed, up comes a shoot. Up, up comes a sprout. Up, up, up comes a bush, but it doesn't stop there. It grows and grows and grows until it becomes a humongous tree. Birds make their nests there. The neighbors exclaim, a mustard tree, amazing. Birds resting there, surprising. People enjoying its shade, unbelievable. Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Mustard plants are just ordinary little bushes. That's true. But not this one. This one is a mustard tree. You don't have to look hard or get really close to see it. It is right in front of you. This is a very surprising mustard plant. Some people touch it to make sure it's real. Others sit under its branches. Wow. They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds to make spices. Mustard, actually. They take the mustard leaves and the seeds to make medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God 
is like a mustard seed in the garden, right outside our windows, growing from an itsy, bitsy, teensy, weeny, to colossal, from impossible to see, to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. Look how it's bigger than the buildings. It is not at all what we expect to find, and yet there it is, surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be. But isn't yet. Wow, what a great book. I love the imagination of the marvelous mustard seed and how a little bitty sprout from a teeny weeny seed can grow into something so big it shows us something about God. I hope you enjoyed reading this book with me. Have a great day.